Hello everyone, today I will be sharing another video tutorial for QNAP smart networking products. In today's video, I will share how to set up QHORA Q1 with a 4G WAN. As you already know, we have several one port configurations. It serves as different purpose. We have one gigabit ethernet port, 10 gigabit ethernet port, and a dual WAN with one gigabit ethernet port. When you have a 4G router, you can connect to the QHORA and it has many benefits. Let me share with you three benefits with a 4G WAN. First, it can be used as a backup for dual WAN. If you have a DSL connection at home and you want a backup connection in case you lose your DSL, 4G WAN on QHORA is a good fit. It will serve as a failover and a load balancing purpose. Second, main connection for remote area. When you are in high mountains where wired connection is difficult to reach, 4G WAN on QHORA might be a better plan. Since you can use it as your main internet connection and set up your Q1 to connect back to office. Third, 4G are more secured from eavesdropping. As there are more and more man-in-the-middle attacks on the internet, wired connection as compared to 4G connection are more susceptible to eavesdropping. So using a 4G on QHORA is a good thing. Next is our QHORA Q1 setup on 4G WAN. In our topology, I would like to show you that we can have internet connection with 4G and we can also connect to Q1 with 4G WAN. We have here the traditional DSL or wired connection on the left side with Q1 connection. On the right side, we have a 4G router in front of a QHORA for 4G WAN connection. If you apply for a public IP SIM card, then by setting the 4G router to a bridge mode, you can set the QHORA as Q1 hub. If you apply for an ordinary SIM card, then you will get a private IP. We can still set the QHORA to Q1, but this time as an edge. The setup process is quite easy. There are only three steps. Step one, put up your 4G router and log into the GUI. Unlock the pin and set the operation mode to bridge mode. I've tested with a few 4G routers and they have bridge mode. Step two, on the QHORA, set up the WAN to DHCP and connect the QHORA WAN to the 4G router LAN. Step three, on the QHORA, log in with QID and set up the Q1 connection. For the GUI setup, we first log in to the 4G router. I have here a Netgear 4G router. We log in to the GUI first and then set the pin. And then once I have set up the pin, I go to mobile SIM security and I inactivate the SIM security. The reason is that so that when I reboot my Netgear 4G router, I don't need to set the pin every time I boot up. Then after that, I go to advanced. On the LAN, I set the operation modes to bridge mode. This is so that I can get the IP that the ISP provides to the device. So in my QHORA, I will get an uh, IP address from the ISP. So then I go to the QHORA. I log into the QHORA and then set up my WAN connection. My WAN connection is a DHCP and I got an IP address. 10.75.157.119. This is a private IP address from the ISP. And once I have set up this uh, WAN setup, I go to the Q1. I log in with, uh, with my QID and then I set up my Q1. I set up to, to a organization, region, site, and a device name. Now let's take a look at the orchestrator. This is the org. And this is my device. Uh, I set it up to QHORA Henry 2. This one. So as you can see, the link status it is uh, connected and it has a VPN status connected 
do I have? So the topology looks like this. So if we look into one of the IP address in this topology, we will try to ping on the LAN side, like for example, this, this, uh, this device. Let's see if we can ping on the LAN side. So if we can ping on the LAN side, it means that we are connected on the Q1 successfully. Okay, now you can see that I can ping to the LAN side of another device in the Q1. So this means that my setup is uh, working fine with a 4G WAN. Now it is done. I hope I have provided more insights on how to set up your QHORA differently, especially with the WAN and Q1 combinations. Since we are at the end of our video tutorials, if you guys want to know more about other video tutorials, please let us know. Thank you for listening. Take care and keep safe.